This is a story that came out on U.S. News and World Report, May 31st, 2018, the heavy toll of opioids on America's labor force. Ladies and gentlemen, it is bad. They're saying opioids now impacts even people with a 10-day supply. One in five of those people will be on opioids you know, in a long-term use of it. And employers are now seeing the heavy impact on the workforce out here. There are a lot of people, ladies and gentlemen, showing up on their jobs every single day high on these opioids to the point where it's affecting productivity in literally every single sector. And it's also impacting businesses of all sizes. It doesn't matter if you have a small business or a large corporation out here, the effects are felt um, all throughout the country. Now, I'm just going down here a little bit. Now they're saying California, Tennessee, Florida, and other states have passed or are seriously consider um, passing opioid specific reform. And, you know, they're kind of creating, no, I'm not going to say they kind of are, they are creating a big monster out here by not really dealing with these opioid addicts properly. You know, they want to give them amnesty and coddle them and keep them safe and call it a public health issue. But the companies out here are even saying they are feeling the healthcare costs of keeping these people around. So now approximately 70% of injured workers treated through work, workers' compensation reportedly are prescribed in opioids. And many individuals who aren't working are still taking opioids. So there's a lot of people on the job every day buzzing around high. Alarmingly, an online survey in 2016 showed around a 50% of men who were out of the labor force took pain medication the previous day. And almost two thirds of them took prescription pain medication, most likely one that was opioid based. Their personal burdens may be dreadful, but so too are the impacts on employers. The cost businesses must bear in absenteeism. And, you know, that is a systemic problem in the U.S. You know what these junkies do? They will show up. They'll get hired for a job. They'll show up just long enough to get that first paycheck. Once they get the first paycheck, they disappear. And then they use the whole paycheck to buy drugs. And that's been going on for quite a few years now. Okay, so um, lower productivity, absenteeism, of course, is high, increased job turnover, restraining, and health care are staggering. While we remain in the depths of the opioid plague, glimmers of light and hope are emerging. According to a recent report, from the healthcare and data science research, opioid prescriptions have dropped significantly. Yeah, but see, they stopped writing as many prescriptions, but there are still a lot of drug use going on out here because you know what, whatever they can't get in a legal drug, they'll just go out on the streets and get it illegally, okay? So, writing more scripts have not diminished the drug problem that's going on.
Okay, employers, large and small, can make a meaningful difference as well as taking steps to remove the stigma of addiction, educating workers on the dangers of opioids through wellness programs and offering employee assistance program to help ensure those suffering from addiction get the counseling and treatment they need. So what they're doing is they're trying to encourage people to get help, but it's really nothing they can do to stop this from happening. The only way they can do it is if they just stop hiring these people, but as you can see, they're not gonna stop hiring these opioid addicts that are out here. And, and some of them may not have started out being addicted to opioids, but somewhere along the way they became addicted. So people, they said right now, there are so many addicts trying to get jobs and flunking the pre-employment exam that some companies have learned, you know, have given up on filling positions. There are so many open positions now. And another reason why that's happening is because people are retiring and there are not enough people to replace the retirees. And actually about a week ago, I read another story that said many places are trying to get their people that are about to retire to stay on a little longer because they're having such a hard time replacing those positions. So if that retiree, you know, they leave, it takes them so long to find a candidate that can pass a drug test that they're now asking them to stay on a little longer. So America got some issues, y'all, some serious issues. Please tell me what you think. Leave your comment, subscribe, share the video, like the video. And if you can support my channel, please do. And I will see you on the next video, family. Peace.